This week has been filled with major headlines, both in the U.S. and abroad. One of America's Rachel Asenas takes us through the top stories of this week. This past week, there was yet another shakeup at the White House. A vote on the so-called skinny repeal of Obamacare fails, and a ride at a state fair turns deadly. Also, the CEO of an online retail giant goes head-to-head -head with Bill Gates as the richest person in the world. Here's more on those stories and all the week's top headlines in case you missed it. Scouts honor. President Trump kicks off the week at the National Scout Jamboree in West Virginia. As the scout law says, a scout is trustworthy, loyal. We could use some more loyalty, I will tell you that. Also on Monday, White House senior advisor Jared Kushner is meeting with the Senate panel to tell them he did not have improper contacts with Russian government officials. In a statement released out of his closed-door meeting this morning, Kushner denies ever colluding with any foreign government and didn't know of any other campaign member who did. And the CIA, FBI, and JFK. The president's car is now turning on to Elm Street, and it will be only a matter of minutes before he arrives at the trademark. The agencies release hundreds of never-before-seen documents related to the JFK assassination. On Tuesday, Senator John McCain returns to Capitol Hill after being diagnosed with brain cancer. My service here is the most important job I've had in my life. To cast a crucial vote on health care. After a tight vote on Capitol Hill, the Senate advances the House's health care bill for debate. Earlier today, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called on his peers to keep their seven-year commitment to constituents and help get rid of Obamacare. And the president rallies in Ohio. With the exception of the late, great Abraham Lincoln, I can be more presidential than any president that's ever held this office. That I can tell you. And in Australia. Shame in your religion. Shame on you. Shame. Post the message to the Pope. A top aide for the Pope appears in court on sex abuse charges in the latest scandal rocking the Catholic Church. Meanwhile, President Trump sounds off on Twitter, saying the government will not accept or allow transgender people to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Also on Wednesday, a state fair turns deadly as an 18-year-old Marine recruit is tossed off a ride and dies on impact. At least one person has died, five people critically injured after a ride malfunctions at the Ohio State Fair in Columbus. And House Majority Whip Steve Scalise is discharged from the hospital and begins rehabilitation more than a month after being shot during a congressional baseball practice in Virginia. And on Thursday, the first responders from that shooting in Virginia are honored as heroes with the Public Safety Medal of Valor. These officers saved the lives of every innocent person on the field that day. And Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos dethrones Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. I'm very proud of the culture that we have at Amazon. And temporarily takes the crown as richest man in the world. Also on Thursday, the Senate votes overwhelmingly to place new sanctions on Russia, Iran, and North Korea. Finally, on Friday. We begin with breaking news out of the Senate where the so-called skinny health care repeal bill has failed. The vote followed hours of debate from Republicans and Democrats. And Charlie Gard, the British infant at the center of a highly publicized legal battle, dies in a hospice just days before his first birthday. Also, a trio of astronauts blast off from Kazakhstan. Engines at maximum. Turbo pumps at flight speed and lift off. For a four-month mission on the International Space Station. And the week wraps up with a slam dunk as the drive-by dunk challenge sweeps the nation. Flying fish. Oh, it's in! College basketball players and other ballers drive through neighborhoods and showcase their dunking skills on random hoops in the latest trend to go viral. On Friday, big news out of the White House. Reince Priebus is out as chief of staff. He's being replaced with Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly. And coming up in the week ahead, President Trump will hold another campaign-style rally, this time in West Virginia. For One American News, I'm Rachel Sennis.